YouTube families. This is my upline. Our today title is Asset Building in Network Marketing Session 2. While watching this video, please take a note. Have a good time. Let me show you on how to grow in this business. For example, this is you. And let's say that you have uh, three or four people. Maybe this is uh, one of your family members and the second one is your, your friend. Uh, number three is a stranger and number four is maybe a colleague who has joined and started to uh, build with you. You are the foundation of this business. You have learned about the company, the product, the industry, you understand, you know how to give the presentation, you know how to follow up, etc. So that is foundation. Then you need to change your mentality from working only on yourself, on helping others to build their own business. So when you help number one, he goes out and he builds his own customers group. And when you help number two, he also goes and builds customer group and the others also, they do the same. When this guy builds a customer group, he makes money. The same is true for the others. And when they make money, that means you make more money. So that is forgetting about yourself and focusing on the others. That's how we grow in network marketing business. But the problem with so many people is that they keep on focusing on themselves. They forget about the others. Because of that, they, they, their business never passes below uh, above the ground. So they make money, maybe $1,000, $2,000 per month. But if they want $10,000, $20,000 per month, what they have to do is help others to make $1,000. So if each one of them make $1,000, you'll be making $4,000 because you're helping four people to make $1,000. Why? Because the customer group that they are building in this business, it is also your customer group. So if each one of them generate $1,000, US dollars per week or per month, that means all the sales that help them totally, it will help you also to generate income. That's how network marketing is designed and built. So you need to forget about yourself and help others to grow. That is called changing mentality. Instead of thinking about your income, you start to think about others' income. Instead of thinking about which knowledge do I have in this industry, you start to worry about these four people, five people, six people. Do they know about the company, the product, the industry? If they don't know them, you will teach them. You will coach them. You know, there is a saying, if you want to eat for months, you need to plant crops. If you want to eat for years, you need to plant trees. If you want to eat forever, you need to train people. That's why in network marketing, you train people and you generate income. Now, let me share with you my experience. I have been in this business, in network marketing business, all over Africa, Middle East, etc., maybe more than uh, 17 years. Then when I started, it was not easy. I had only the dream of changing my life. And there is, there is challenge along the way. So first of all, I worked on myself. Okay, maybe the first one year or six months. Then I started to help my team. My team members, they were five in number, me inclusive six. So out of the five, one is my wife and the other one is a stranger who has joined my team. The other one is my wife's friend and the other one is my friend, etc. So I started to help them, to train them, to coach them. And I invested my time on them. So by, by doing so, number one, I make sure that each one of them has earned more than um, maybe 100,000 Ethiopian plus per month consistently. Uh, that is $1 this time is about 55 Ethiopian bur. So I helped them to generate that much. So when I helped them, my income became more than 500,000, 600,000 per month. And so my, my organization started to grow. It's not the first year that I, start, I started to generate like that. It took me three to five years to build that one. So with consistency, persistence, and uh, continuous education that you get from your upline and team, and you also pass to your downlines, then you help others to grow. So this business is called for people who love helping others. The problem with so many people, we think that we love helping others, but we are not committed. We say it, but we are not really committed. When you invest your time and energy, effort and your thoughts in helping others, they grow 
when they grow, you grow back. This is an amazing concept that we, we grow together. So this is changing mentality from myself to others. Now, from looking for people to developing people, you need to change your mentality. In the beginning, you look for people because you don't grow alone. You need to look for people to get them so that to train them. If you don't have nobody, then you can't, you can't train uh, anyone. So it is important that first you look for people. Once you get people, you need to change your mentality. How do I train them so that they grow? That the moment you start to think like that, then you're, you're building business or in this business, you are from foundation into building level. That mentality is absolutely important. It's not how, what you do, it is how you think you're doing that matters most. So that is changing mentality. Now, when you change your mentality, you need to move from I can into we can. I can generate income by mas myself, but when we are a couple of people together, we can generate more. I can generate something, we can generate more. So from I can, change your mentality into we can. The other one is from independent, to interdependent. Now, when you do this business by yourself, first, before you start to do this business by yourself, you were dependent on your upline. The upline uh, gives you trainings, the upline gives presentation for your prospects, the upline trains you about the industry. So you were dependent on your upline. After a couple of months, you start to do the business by yourself. That means you become independent. So many people, they are stuck there, independent level. Now you need to know that by independence level, you can generate certain amount of income, okay? You can give presentation for people and recruit more customers, recruit more uh, business partners, but that is how much you can do this business. But the more you do this business with others, you know, you are capable of giving presentation like for two times a day. If you have 10 business partners and they give two times a day, that means there are 20 business presentations in your organization. That means your time is multiplied. Now, I want you to understand the concept of time. For example, let's see how, much, how many hours do you have in a day? How many hours do you have in a day? That is 24. You have 24 hours, okay? You can't work all the 24 hours, but you have 24 hours. Now, out of these 24, let's say that you can work 10 hours per day. Let's say it could be more or less, but let's say 10 hours per day. Now, when you have your team, your team members, let's say there are 10 people working with you as your downlines, as we have seen earlier, these 10 people, each one of them are investing 10 hours, 10 hours times 10 people is equal to 100 hours per day. Look the difference. Now, which one do you think will create more income, generate more income? 10 hours per day or 100 hours per day? Remember, even at this level, you are working 10 hours per day, but your organization is working 100 hours per day. 100 hours per day creates more sales than 10 hours per day. Now, what if you keep on multiplying that? These 10 people, they go out and train in the coming one year, 10 others. That means 100 people working in your organization. So these 100 people, when they do 10 hours per day, then that will be 1,000 hours per day. Look the productivity. You by yourself, you can work and generate this much, 10 hours. But when you work with your team, direct team, you can generate 100 hours. But when you teach your team members to duplicate from direct effort or directly recruiting, you make this much hours per day, but from duplicating what you have trained them when they are able to duplicate. That means you do the business, you train others to train others. When you do that, then you have 1000 hours working for you every day. That is called leverage. You are leveraging your time. You are leveraging other people's time to consume it for yourself. Not only for yourself, they are using it for themselves to produce for themselves. You are also benefiting from that same time which is being worked by them.
So the same is true for any business. Let's say that there is a, a, a person called X. This person builds an organization, maybe a factory. What do they do? Maybe the factory is producing some uh, juice, okay, juice factory. And this person employs, employs 100 people. And these 100 people are working eight hours per day. That means this, the owner of the factory is leveraging 100 people's eight hours per day, which is 800 hours per day. Because of the 800 hours, the factory starts to generate income because it, it produces product, juice product or any other product. So the concept of network marketing is you don't need to own a factory. You just need to buy a product from a company and then the company gives you a database whereby you build consumer group who actually recruits more customers for the company to buy the product and services from the company, which is you don't need to own a company, but you own a consumer group. From that consumer group, the sales goes to the company, the commission comes to you. This is an amazing arrangement between huge companies and anybody, any layman out there. It doesn't require any educational background. It doesn't require any, any special knowledge and it doesn't uh, require any degree or diploma. Anyone can do it. I remember a guy from Kenya. Uh, maybe 10 years ago, when I go to, to get a training in Kenya in a specific place called Limuru, and it was in a camp, and I shared a room with a Kenyan, an old Kenyan. His age was about 62 years old. And this guy, he, does, he, he doesn't know how to write and uh, how to read. But I remember he has over 100,000 consumer group in his organization in Eastern Africa, in Ethiopia, in Kenya, in Tanzania, in Uganda, in Sudan, etc. And he, he earns more than 40,000 US dollar per month. He is not educated or he does not know how to read and write. That means this business is for anyone and everyone. And this is an information era. In this age, you don't need to own a factory to have a product. You don't need to own a business organization to generate income. That's an old way. So you need to use your mind. So network marketing among different opportunities that you have out there is one of the opportunities that you use to build a huge income. So the, the best place to check this is I want I would like you to go to www.wfdsa World Federation of direct selling association.org go there and check about this industry so what kind of uh, business is this and what can you do anybody out there can go and check the companies and join one of them and build a, a huge income and change your life change uh, your family's life so that is changing mentality the other one is from personal work you need to change your mind from a, a foundation into building stage which is from personal work into teamwork. Again, leaders, once they do network marketing, the problem is they do it only with one mindset, which is go and bring people, go and bring people or bring customers. That is one to start with, but you, you don't need to get stuck there. That's just the foundation. Once you build very good number of consumers, you need to train from them, not all of them, but some of them who are willing, teachable and coachable, instead of thinking that I work and make money, you start to train the team, as I told you, the team of 10, the team of five, the team of six, you keep on training them. What do you train them? How to prospect, how to invite, how to present, how to follow, and how to train their teams. So when you keep on doing this regularly, it could be online or physical, we will see that one in other programs, then your team starts to grow. Instead of depending on you, they start to depend by themselves. When they depend by themselves, you coach them on how to train others so that they can also depend by themselves. By doing so, the number of hours that you're doing from personal effort, which is 10 hours per day, grows into 100 and then 1,000, then 10,000, etc. The only way to make more income 
in a day is to leverage. Some people, they leverage their time to machines, techniques, method. For example, YouTube pays you or social medias, they pay you. But what do you do? You need to record and upload. And while you are sleeping, people are watching the videos. And while you are doing something else, people are watching those videos and advertisement is embedded on those uh, videos. And then from that advertisement, you make money. That means you leveraged technology to generate income. The same is true in network marketing. You leverage the knowledge that you have about the product, the company, the industry, and on how to recruit and retain, then you pass this knowledge to leaders and they also do the same thing than the number of people consuming products through your consumer group grows. The number of people who are doing the recruitment and retention in this business in your organization grows, so the time increases. When the time increases, the sales increases. When the sales increases, the company makes money, you make commission. And the commission is as high as, you know, some people in network marketing, they make in millions of dollars per year and per month. So you can also generate that. That's very important. So changing mentality is the way how to transform your business just from the beginning or from foundation into building stage. The other one is from finance earning into acquiring freedom. You need to change. So many people, again, they stick to on the amount of bonus that they are making every week. They just focus on how much money do I make this week. So they, they keep on working only the, on the recruitment. You need to sit and then assign like 20% of your time, 30% of your time. And how can I train my customers or my business partners on how to present, on how to follow, and how to build a strong team so that they do this business by themselves and then I can generate a huge sales and of course revenue. That is from finance earning changing into getting freedom. How do you get freedom? To get freedom, you should be replaced. You should be replaced by a system. That system is called people's time. So when you give time for people, they will give you back time so that in order to earn time, you need to invest time. Not on everybody, but on a few number of people. And uh, it could take you a year or two or three or five years consistently teaching them and training them on how to do the business and doing the business together. Then you build a huge organization. Uh, I remember when I built my business organization, I built up to 130,000 consumer groups, selling over 1.6 million US dollars per month and generating huge income for me. So the same is true for you. You can also do that. So you, the other one is changing your mentality from employee or self-employee mentality, which is I'm the best, I'm the best mentality into there are people who are the best out there. So let me give them what I know. And when they do with their quality, we are the best. Instead of saying I'm the best, start to say that we are the best. The team is the best. Now, there are four ways to produce income, as Robert Kiyosaki says. The first one is becoming employee. When you are employee, you have a job. That means you sell your time with money. You give time and you get money. That is called salary. The second one is you become self-employed. Self-employed is you, have, you own a job. And instead of having a job, that means somebody gives you a job, then you own a job. When you own a job, again, you sell time with money. That means so many people in the world, that's how they make income. 5% of the world wealth is owned by employees and self-employees. And 95% of the world population thinks like this. I sell my time and generate income. So they work for money. Working for money means you are a slave for money. You need to change that one. There is no financial freedom. There is no time freedom in, in this case. Because if you open a small shop and then you are selling there, then that means as, as long as you're working, you make money. But the moment you stop working, there is no money. But there are people who have retired from working for money and money works for them. That's a concept. So you need to adapt on this concept. You need to dig, you need to read the book, especially the book by Robert Kiyosaki called um, Rich Dad Poor Dad and also uh, uh, Cash Flow Quadrant. The Cash Flow Quadrant is one of the best books that you can uh, read and change the way how you think about finances and business. Now, the other way, the, the, the other way of income generating is business owners. Business owners, they own system. They don't own the business, they own systems. System means 
you give opportunity for people to work there with you in different systems and then that, that system people's time is changed into uh, money just like the way how I showed you this factory owner employs 100 people they work eight hours per day that means 800 hours he purchases 800 hours that in that 800 hours generates uh, revenue for the factory owner so you give people time and effort and system to work with to work in and you buy their time and you generate income so people's time is changed into uh, income or revenue so that is called business owners the other one is investors investors they own investments owning investment in non normally in ma majority of the time is paper assets or owning investments so five percent of the world population they think like this i build system or let money works for me that's how they think let money work for me so they own system or they own investments now, 95% of the wealth in the world is owned by this 5% of people. You can be in part of this 5% of the people in the world. How? By building a network marketing business, which is uh, why you are taking this training now. Now, when you build a system, money works for you instead of working for money. And you have financial freedom and time freedom. So, on building stage, you focus on three things. Number one is teamwork. You focus on supporting your team. Number two, organizing events and duplicating those events. Events means recruitment events and retention events. Business presentation programs, follow-up programs, basic training programs, product training programs, etc. You need to have regular weekly, monthly, and quarterly, annually programs so that you can run it regularly and you can duplicate that one then you succeed and you follow system so teamwork event and system these are the mentality that we need to have or you need to have in order to build this business now what happens in your results when you reach this uh, intermediate level or building stage you will have lots of work you will be traveling from your city to different parts of the city because your team is growing in different parts of the world or in different parts of the country and you need to go and train them so you have more expenses now you your income starts to grow too but actually you have more expense and less income so that way you will be investing more of your energy time effort trying to develop your team and your team is also generating income so you may have uh, moderate income and also expenses and effort now, when you keep on doing that, so many people, they quit also at this level. But if you keep on consisting, uh, consistently helping your team, what happens is the team duplicates. So the income keeps on growing and the expense starts to come down. Why? Because you train others to be independent and do the business by themselves. They don't need you anymore on the basics. So uh, your, your effort starts to decrease. Your, uh, your time start investing on this business will decrease your resources your financial resources which you use to invest on the business maybe renting a venue for a, the business orientation maybe renting office to do your business even though it's not necessary you may if, uh, put effort on that one so that starts to decrease as other people are taking over to do those responsibilities so the income keeps on growing and the expense comes down then you start to make profit that's why so many people they don't succeed in network marketing they expect to make money immediately they expect to uh, have profit in this business you need to invest majority of your income and resources in the beginning and later on the reward is great that's what happens to me in the beginning i remember we make more money and we still are, are in debt why because we invest majority of the income that we get and we have to use it also for our personal expenses at home and you know that was that was the situation but now whatever is coming from the network marketing income and whatever we can expend is incomparable the the revenue is much more higher than the expense so you also need to understand this get ready your mentality and build the business until the revenue surpasses the expenses the final part is the the finishing stage now you know this business is something that you start build and finish just the way how we start 
build and finish the building, constructing a building. So how do we uh, compare the finishing stage of uh, building a construction and also the uh, network marketing business? In network marketing, you just give directions. When you, when you do the finishing, you just have key leaders in network marketing in your huge organization. You have thousands and thousands of uh, customers and hundreds of leaders in your business in different parts of the world. So you just give them directions, some directions, some motivations. That is the finishing stage. And in network marketing, I mean, in network marketing for finishing part, you become guest of honor in different venues, uh, in different programs, and then you go there, make a brief speech, you just you are just an inspiration you keep on inspiring your team members and your organization uh, regularly but in building construction you know, the finishing part as you know it could be the painting and the fixtures etc uh, maybe you, you will have an uh, inaugural uh, ceremony for for the building etc so in in uh, network marketing business finally you retire when you retire you have actually built group of teams and they have uh, already followed system and the system is working by itself it doesn't need you to work it doesn't need you to generate income the same is true for building once you complete the building and employ the the staff members maybe building administration etc and then even if you don't go to that building you the system keeps on generating income for you that's called leverage so you put an effort to build as an asset and the asset keeps on generating regular high income. So in, in network marketing business, after you complete the asset building, you have partners, business partners. These partners, they work for themselves and they grow and you generate income. At first, they don't know how to grow. So you learn from, from your upline, you teach them, you coach them, you show them, you do the business with them, and finally you retire. So you, you are not overworked at that time, okay? The, you retire. The same is true in, when, after you build a building, construction, and you rent it out, then you don't need to have uh, worked daily. So that is called retirement. Then you generate income. In network marketing, you can generate hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. The same is true in, in uh, the building construction. Depending on the area, the country where you are in, you can rent it out or do business there or uh, anyway, you, you generate income from that asset. So you, you start to live your dream. What happens there is so many people, they don't know how to live because what we know is we always go out of, uh, the house to work, to work to make money. So people work to make money. Now you need to know that after a while building an asset and the asset keeps on generating regular high income, what do you do your day with? Now I, I would like to encourage you to write down your dream lifestyle. If money keeps on flowing into your life because of the asset that you build, how would you love to spend your day? What will you do in the morning? Where will you go? What is your inspiration? How do you want to serve the generation? What is your vision? What's your dream lifestyle? How would you like to spend your time with your family? How would you like to spend your time with your uh, spiritual leaders? Or how, where do you want to visit in the world? What does it life mean to you? What, write down all these questions and then answer for yourself. Trust me, when you understand that lifestyle, you would really miss that uh, lifestyle and you would give it all you have for your system so that you can achieve this one. So this is how we build our network marketing. Now there are special features of asset. The last thing that we see in this training is what are the special features of asset, be it in network marketing or in building construction. Now, the first one is it is not built overnight. Any asset is not built overnight. It takes months and years, especially the asset that you build in network marketing, it takes a serious three to five years in order to build it and to, tr to get uh, a leveraged income or passive income. Number two, asset special feature number two, you get freedom only after you build it. So many people, they come to the business of network marketing with a mentality that oh, it, it has freedom. This business has freedom. Freedom is not free. You need to pay the price 
to earn freedom. So you need to give it all you have. You need to, sometimes you need to work at night, you need to work early morning, you need to travel to different parts of the country in sometimes in risky areas, build that business and then you earn freedom. But people say, okay, I love to be my own boss. That's why I join network marketing company. And then they don't commit to that freedom level. You want to be free, you don't get it first. Pay the price. That is the, the principles, the features of an asset. Number three, feature number three is it requires dream to build it. If you don't have a dream, you can't build an asset. So many people, they don't have dreams, so they, they just work to make money. So do you have a dream? That's my question. Do you have a dream? Do you have big dreams? And are you committed for your dream? Do you give yourself zero option not to achieve your dream? Say that I achieve it or die. Do you have such a commitment? Otherwise, it's impossible to, to build an asset. Why? To build an asset, it requires a huge effort. So feature number four is the builder, the person, the owner must have system before building. For example, just because you have money, you are not allowed to build a building. You know, you need to have a design. The, need, the design should be approved by the government. And then you need to be getting the place, the space, and the space should be checked. The place should be checked and then you'll be allowed to construct. The same is true in network marketing. Just because you buy a product and you are able to refer to other people, it doesn't mean that you can build an asset. Of course, you can generate income by referring others, but to, to build an asset that keeps on generating regular high income, you must be following a system that is proved to give you financial and fine time freedom. Feature number five is all assets give you time freedom and financial freedom not while building it but after completion fortunately in network marketing while building it it's not the the, the asset that gives you but your effort selling effort recruitment effort pays you back so do not evaluate your asset with the amount of income you are generating in the early stages of network marketing. That is just from the selling re and referring effort that you are getting the income. But the asset, building the as an asset, you will generate huge regular income without your involvement. That is called an asset. Then feature number six, the last feature of an asset is it is impossible to build it with instant gratification attitude. Instant gratification means I want to make money as soon as possible. When you have this mentality, then you will not be willing to, um, to commit for building the asset. So to build an asset, you need to avoid instant gratification mentality and see that the leverage that you will get after a year, after two years and after three years. Of course, you need to make money now, but you need to invest also a couple of hours in a day to build that asset so that the asset keeps on regular. Uh, income for you after a couple of years. So there are different kinds of assets out there. One of them is network marketing. I'm not telling you that you all of us we should do network marketing, but I'm just giving you the idea that if you have a dream to build an asset in network marketing, which is possible, and you need to commit yourself and enjoy the journey in this industry. So uh, in order to succeed, to build an asset, network marketing, is one of the ways I am so much happy that you are taking this journey to the next level and this profession is growing all over the world nowadays we have more than 100 million network marketers in the world if you check that website you can get the data and what kind of products are being sold in this industry you can also see that one here in Ethiopia there are also some companies selling uh, different products and services you can join them and uh, build your network marketing profession if you have any questions which is not clear here you may ask us on the comment section we are very much happy to respond to you our vision is to see you succeeding in network marketing and getting the financial and time freedom you deserve to have thank you very much and see you in the next program i hope 
you enjoyed the second session of asset building in network marketing if you have any comment suggestion please feel free to drop your comments and suggestion on our comment session next monday we will come up with a new topic see you monday